Three years ago, with our first startup, Diamond Charts, we revolutionized the way scouting was done in college baseball and softball. Hundreds of programs across the nation now trust us to provide advanced scouting analysis, including the past three Division I national champions. But today, as telemetry sports, we're utilizing that expertise and experience to turn NFL data into actionable information that will save coaches time, identify opponents' tendencies, and help better prepare for the future. The NFL recently partnered with Zebra Technologies to track the on-field location of every NFL player. These are the RFID tags in every player's shoulder pads. These tags produce mountains of data on how players move, react, tackle, and get open. Using this data, the telemetry platform will enable players and coaches to make better decisions. Now, I know the Super Bowl is tomorrow, but let's fast forward to this fall. Let's assume Callan is Matt Patricia, defensive coordinator for the Patriots. It's week seven, and he's game planning on how to stop Andrew Luck and the Colts offense. Let's take a look at how Coach uses the data. First, he wants to scout their playmaker, T.Y. Hilton. So he pulls up a heat map of his starting locations. These are all the points on the field in which T.Y. Hilton was located pre-snap. Coaches focus on plays near the boundary or outside the numbers. So he pulls those up, and he flips through each play, getting a feel for the route combinations the Colts use. That's what you're seeing here. You're seeing the exact movements of each receiver on every play using the RFID da data that is already available. Coach finds one play he wants to investigate further, so he pulls up the video as every play is tied to the coaching footage. Now I'll draw your attention to the bottom of the screen where Coach has presented similar plays. This is something that emerged out of our work in MIT's analytics lab. On every play, the telemetry platform classifies hundreds of micro-events or what we call play features, formations, routes, coverages, quarterback dropback, a pulling guard, the corner playing press coverage with inside leverage. Using the RFID, RFID data, we analyze all of those features and we put them into an artificial uh, neural network to group plays by similarity. Basically, the, the neural net analyzes each feature and then groups of plays and that's what you're seeing along the bottom. Next, Coach wants to zero in on how T.Y. Hilton is getting open. He has the option to select wide open, open, covered, or well covered. So he chooses wide open. He's returned all of the locations on the field in which Hilton, in fact, breaks free. He can pull up the play details. Again, every play is tied to video. Let's take a short break from the demo and show quickly how we do this, because this is important to our process. We use a geospatial technique known as a Voronoi tessellation to quantify receiver openness. Basically, if I'm a receiver and defenders are near, my zone would be small. If defenders are further away, my zone would be large. Let's look at a play to help illustrate. Focus on the top receiver. Early, his blue Voronoi zone is small as linebackers and cornerbacks are near. But as he makes his way across the field, away from the defenders, his, blue Voronoi, his, his Voronoi zone becomes large. We can classify this throughout each frame of the play. Next is a feature that we're really excited to show. We call it whiteboard, and this is just awesome. Whiteboard will automatically identify the play coach draws. Coach is now drawing a basic two-player route combination he wishes to see. Using machine learning, we identify the routes run and we match them against the database, returning the plays that match his sketch. Think about this. Coach just drew two routes and telemetry automatically returned the plays that contain those routes. Think about how fans in NFL.com could use this. We're from some of the nation's top universities with significant experience in machine learning, geospatial analysis, and other anal analytical methods. This is just the beginning, as we will impact advanced scouting, game day preparation, and improve player safety. As you can see, telemetry brings power to data. And these are only a couple of the features we could demo here today. We didn't even get into defense, special teams, and custom scattering reports for each coaching staff. Not to mention what we could do in other sports like hockey, basketball, soccer, and even tennis. In summary, tomorrow's athlete will require the telemetry platform or telemetry sports. Thank you. All right. Great presentation. Tell you, Tony, you want to jump in? Yeah, just off the bat, um, what's the business model around it? Because I'm, I'm I'm trying to figure out, does the team buy into it? You know, who's running all the features? I mean, it's not as intuitive as you know, 
someone might think. I mean, unless you went to the University of Michigan like I did. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, for the average uh, adult, uh, it might be a little bit more com complex. So the question is, but who's going to pay for it and how are they going to run it? Sure. So um, our goal is to make it just easy, very easy for you guys to use. Uh, not only players, but coaches as well. Uh, but um, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm step in. So what we saw when, when we presented the diamond charts to coaching staff, it was a subscription service. And um, we've been so focused on building the technology that um, we're hoping that today is our first day of our marketing, uh, marketing campaign. Uh, we might be in front of the right people. And <laughs> so uh, building that model is something we're really looking forward to um, working with the owners and uh, NFL officials here. So explain to us a little bit more about how you're developing and scaling what you call the neural networks and the artificial intelligence. Sure, so we use a, uh, what's called a Cajonan network or a self-organizing map. And it's basically a competition network uh, uh, that treats neurons in the, uh, or, or emulates neurons in the brain. And so, uh, so if, you're, uh, if everybody in this room had a piece of paper and you described yourself, height, weight, et cetera, uh, if you were just focused on just height, everybody would be in one line, right? If you were in two dimensions, if you did height and age, we would be scattered throughout this room. But then what the neural net does is it takes all of the, all of the features about a person and then you're, you're like, Im imagine walking around this room with a piece of paper and, okay, I'm, I'm kind of these and I, you and I would draw closer together because we like sports, but then I might be a little taller so we'd be pushing, so it just, it, it takes that all the way through uh, mm -hmm. to the bottom and then, and then basically that's when the, when, the, when the room is done or the plays are done, you're, then we group or cluster uh, by similarity. How do you make this uh, accessible and scalable beyond professional football? So we're hopeful that in the future, um, colleges will, will uh, Zebra will scale to colleges. Uh, or, you know, there are some teams that are using a different product called Catapult uh, for their practices. So we can, we would, we would enjoy the opportunity to, to study route, uh, you know, route efficiencies and, and, and look at, you know, how quickly a player uh, accelerates into his break and then out of his break. Uh, and then we can qu quantify route integrity. The whole machine learning uh, area is now one of the hottest areas in all of technology. How are you competing for talent? How do you intend to compete for talent? Well, right now we're a, we're a three-man shop. Uh, <laughs> and so we're, it's just the three of us doing it right and now. And you don't think you'll have to get larger in order to I'm do all of this? I'm absolutely certain we will. Uh, we've <laughs> got some people uh, back home in Indiana that, that are we're really good friends with and, and are outstanding. Uh, some of the top mathematicians in the world. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we think, uh, you know, sports is, is, a, is a fun experience, you know, is a fun industry to be in. And, and hopefully today, if anybody's interested in sending us their resume, we'd be <laughs> happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. any, any thoughts on uh, just the whole safety issue? Player safety, you, you, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but how does this help us with that piece of the game that's so important? Sure. So we've, um, first we could look at the plays, the high impact plays that occurred. We could look at the route types and the coverages. Uh, for example, a, you know, an inside go route up, up the seam with a, on a single high safety would be, you know, maybe a dangerous play. Uh, but then, you know, the, the whole, we've done research that shows, uh, that shows that uh, quarterback uh, passer rating is directly correlated to his own wide uh, receivers and tight ends concussions. Uh, we've got a plot that we could pull up on our screen right now uh, that as he becomes a better, a better passer, it reduces his team's concussions uh, for his receivers. So uh, we could help, you know, kind of the Voronoi thing. Uh, we could show you areas of the field where, where, um, where those zones are large and help you make better decisions on who you're passing to and avoid those collisions. Oftentimes, um, you know, your first idea is not the best idea. So... What could this business evolve into if the primary idea doesn't work? Well, we're really confident that this idea is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I uh, haven't thought about the next step yet, but we'll, we'll get there if this doesn't uh, work out as planned. But what makes you stand out amongst others in this, in this field? So if this is a spectrum from tech to sports, we can communicate up and down that, that whole spectrum. 
We may not be that top 5%, the, the Matt Patricias or the Bill Belichicks, but we know how to communicate with them. We might not be the, you know, the top five computer scientists in the world, but we know how to communicate that language. And we can, we've got that broad, and we've shown it in diamond charts, and, and we're excited to show it in the NFL as well. All right, so we're out of time. Telemetry Sports, thank you guys very much.